I said slow, but um, a slugfest, I was oh, going to yeah. say, between HK Dash and Kioma. Um, these are two players that have been around for a minute here because I've known both of these players from the Street Fighter 4 days. Kioma used to be an able player. The, like the pioneer of Able back in the day. We would watch that's his tech right. and right when YouTube had first launched. That's how old we are, yes. Uh, that's how <laughs> I know of Kioma. And then HK Dash, who has been playing. He was he is one of the best Bisons in the world um, from Street Fighter 4 to Street Fighter 5. And now they have given him back his character in Street Fighter 6. So now we're going to see a Clash of the Titans. Shout outs to Justin TV slash Team Spooky. Justin TV, so tell you for what, those who know what Justin you. TV is. Yeah, that, that, that'll age us for sure. <laughs> but yeah, Kyoma and HK Dash, as you mentioned, two veterans of the game, both been around the block only a year apart, both with some extremely dangerous characters. Let's get into this one. Going to be losers quarterfinals. And you mentioned Owen. We are actually going to see the Kami back a here cami. from the HK Dash rather than the Bison that we saw in losers round one. Interesting. Well, so this could be because Cammy does really, really well against Shoto's. Historically, she has always beaten Shoto characters. Um, you know, like, it's so hard to anti her because she has a dive kick. And so it already causes you to, and you can't really air to air it. Yeah. Like, you know, like we watched earlier between Kimberly and Akuma, they would try to air to air each other. This is one of those matches where, you know, you just have to accept the fact that Cammy's going to get in on you. 100%. This is going to be part of the game. And I didn't laugh at what you were saying, by the way. I laughed at the CFN, the 2X Kiyoma. That's pretty, it's pretty powerful, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that's actually a really good play on words right yeah. there. I like that. <laughs> it's a good play. James Chen is somewhere smiling, and he <laughs> yeah. doesn't know why. Oh, all right here, though, off the DI. That's going to be an easy follow-up. You already know HK Dash. Like we said, right, you mentioned longtime Bison player, but he had to have played something beforehand, and it looks like he's been very comfortable on this cami after a year of practice. Mm -hmm. And funny enough, like uh, Esports World Cup, I just watched Ooh. Xiao Hai beat uh, Kawano with his M. Bison versus Akuma, which I think is a pretty good matchup from what I saw um, using Cycle Pressure. But HK Dash didn't need to use M. Bison. Looks like the Kami is doing just enough work. And when you do the math of like Bison damage plus Akuma health, you know, it equals uh, completely devastation. Yeah, but HK Dash, that was. Oh. That was a speed run through the first game. Legitimately. I was trying to get my thoughts together regarding everything, and HK Dash is already a 1 0. <laughs> yeah, 1 0 with the Kami. Um, great showing with the dive kick, so already establishing it early in the game. He like It's really, really scary to anti air her because, you know, what if she does do the early dive kick and then your DP whiffs as mm -hmm. Akuma with no health? She does still put out that damage. Yeah, you can see, right? Like, look at this. Yeah, like, you are honestly a lot of the time forced to kind of respect the certain range that Kami can just dive kick you at. Mm -hmm. Right now, Kyoma's going to get his party started, though. Oh, actually, ended up on the same side. Yeah, but you can see one answer that you do have is when Kami does do the early dive kicks to beat out the yeah. DP and you know it's coming, You there's recovery frames on it and you can whiff punish it. Yeah, I think that's something that not enough people still take advantage of is the recovery frames on the landing from Kami. You can punish her for a lot longer than you think you can. Mm -hmm. oh. But Akuma Excuse answers me. with his own yeah. demon flip dive kick. <laughs> I can do it too. Uh, I like that idea. It's been working against me. Let's see if it works against you. What a spacing trap right there from HK Dash though. And now, oh, the fastball baits out the DP. Kiyoma. I don't know if they just got caught, confused, or well. We didn't even see an OD version, but what a whip punish set up afterwards. But what a bait. I didn't even think about that, that as a bait, because a lot of people go for the hooligan throw over there. Yeah. And DP would have worked on that. Wake up, OD, DP does connect. To just fastball? I don't even remember how much they established hooligan beforehand, but nonetheless, had the right read when it mattered. And Kyoma over here sitting on critical oh. art. A oh, couple whips here and there. Yeah, I'm scared of any of all, any and all whips. Still an uphill battle. Uh -huh. We're not going to cash out yet because he wants this hit. <gasps> he got the hit, but the didn't combo. Didn't get the full connection. Yeah. He burned himself out, unfortunately. There's the air to air. That's so rough, too, because a driver's cancel combo with CA backing it up right there, that honestly might have killed. On yeah, the I, I do think because Akuma shells out so much damage, I really do yeah, think that was going to kill. Akuma, yeah. But that it dropped, and that's the worst scenario to be in, just burning yourself out for a drop combo that's supposed to kill. Wow, Spiral Arrow catching the startup frames with the drive rush. That's really rough, man. That Hezzy right there, catching mm -hmm. Kyoma's defensive timings. Great stuff. Had the meaty crouch heavy, but a little bit too far to follow it up properly. Yeah, and you can just see the pressure that HK Dash is laying onto Kyoma Ooh. right now. It's just 
how do you, like, bro. it's really difficult to get around the dive peaks. Like, you're you're going to have to change up your defensive options instead of trying to block or trying to anti-air with the DP. Um, Parry might be the answer. Yikes, and then just waking up with the OD DP right there as well. There. Yeah, HK Dash hasn't really shown any empty jump, right? So definitely worth experimenting with the parry when you see the jump. There was that. That <laughs> was empty an empty jump. jump. Oh, no. He said, I got you. You want an empty <laughs> jump, I'll show you. So yeah, luckily, I mean, Kyoma was committed to the DP instead this time, but you can see how tough it is to really get a handle on what Kami's going to do in the air and how you have to answer nice. it. Nice, perfect carry on the very first spin knuckle that HK dashed it. For real, though. Oh, uh, and the throw oh. bait was successful. That would have also been a dead Kami. You had the double dry brush combo. Yeah, missed the input oh. with the dry brush. Oh, no. Oh, they're both dropping. Right. They're both dropping. They're both you dropping. Know, the dropping. homie dropped. They're like, you know, we've been at it for a while now. You drop a combo. I drop a combo. Mm, I'm going to give one to you. I was trying to get the conversion oh. off the OD. <gasps> Baited, but that's going to... Mm. It punished anyway. Oh, That super no. is so fast. Oh. And I'm wondering what that, because that wasn't a normal that he did. He did the special. He did the backwards yeah. fireball. Uh, that still would lose to super for sure. So I'm wondering what he was trying to go for there. Yeah, the adamant flame. Oh, that was 3-0. Yeah, yeah, that was the end of the set. 100% HK dash. Gonna be running away with it to get into loser semifinals. Yeah, I don't know if that's like some extended, because it is, like you said, a long duration bait uh but that's super way too fast to actually be baited properly maybe it's to bait something else like a spiral arrow either way well done from hk dash gonna be moving on into loser semifinals over kioma we really saw like you mentioned at the beginning right the abuse of the jumps and the dive kick there's a certain spacing as well that kami can really jump at we saw this a lot at evo when it was punk and big bird because of rashid's like forward moving dp you can stand at a range where the jump is pretty much a mix-up, right? Like, if you do dive kick, then the ODDP will actually anti-air the dive kick. But if they do regular jump, the ODDP just whiffs. So you could do that up against Akuma as well, right? It's a little bit more of a tighter space because it doesn't go as far horizontally as Rashid. But it's definitely something that you always got to keep in mind and something that creates hesitation when trying to anti-air Kami. Yeah, so being on the receiving end of that as a Shoto, just I kind of removed that as an option anti and Cammy, you know, if you get it, that's like really, really plus, but yeah. just anti airing is kind of out of the question there. You really have to focus on the ground game where Cammy does do well on the ground game, but they did nerf Spin Knuckle just to help out Fireball yep. characters. Uh, they nerfed up the invincibility frames on projectiles in the beginning. So you really have to do it early in order to get through the projectiles now. Yes, indeed. So big up to HK Dash, as we said, ran away with that one. And next up, it's going to be not Pedro versus 